Hello everyone, welcome back to Fix the Family. My name is Raylan Alomar and we are bringing you truth without compromise for the family. We are back in studio for another volume of the Men of Greatness series. This is going to be volume four of this series based on Dr. G.C. Dillsaver's book, The Three Marks of Manhood, about a man being priest, prophet, and king for the Catholic man who has chosen the married state in life. We're going to jump right into about the middle of chapter 5 of his book called The Scepter of Authority. And in this section, which he starts on page 71, he's talking about the husband's love and devotion for his wife. And obviously that is based on St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians chapter 5, where we have that familiar verse of, Wives, be submissive to your husbands. Husbands, love your wife as Christ loves the church. And so in explaining a husband's love and devotion for his wife, we're going to start over on page 73. He says, The corollary and equivalent exhortations of a wife to submit to a husband in all things and for a husband to love his wife as Christ loved the church express in the fullest manner, the nature of love. They express in the fullest manner the nature of love. True love is necessarily reciprocal. For a man and wife, this dynamic of reciprocal love will create a constant flux back and forth, which increases both the submission and love of the wife and the patriarchal sense of devotional duty and love in the man. Neither one is compromised, neither one is diminished, and actually as they love back and forth, both are increased. The doctrine of hierarchy in the family then is not the one-way street it is so often characterized as. It requires reciprocity to enhance its efficacy and bring it to full realization. The hierarchy of the family does not accept the modern prescription of 50-50 sharing in power between husband and wife. There is no codal leadership. It's not half and half leadership. It's not partnership and leadership. The husband leads. But rather a 100 to 100 donation of love between husband and wife with both striving to give their all in accord with their God-ordained roles. So both 100% as their respective role not crossing over to each other's role, but 100% of each one. And um, this is a challenge today because it's just not being taught and it's not being lived out in the vast majority of situations. You know, and it's not to say all the, the women are at fault. It's often said that that's what we're, we're criticizing women. We say both the men and the women, both husbands and wives, are not doing what they are supposed to do. Um, you know, it's not a promotion of suppression of the woman by the husband. It, the, the, the submission previously talked about is an act of the wife. She submits. The husband can't force it, otherwise it would be suppression. Now, um, the thing is, neither one are well suited today to be able to fulfill their respective role because they don't have the example. They didn't grow up with the example. Um, neither men nor women. You know, so many today have been uh, raised in a one-parent family. How are you going to get those roles uh, to be exampled and to be, to be put forth to a child to learn and to grow up in? And then when there are, uh, is a two-parent family, often those roles are reversed or they're not being lived out. So we find that so many are just not well suited for that in our current culture. I know we didn't have good men, we didn't have good examples growing up, my wife and I. So uh, we had mentors that came along at the right stage in our life that we were able to learn from. And then we sought out when learning these things that we, we were intrigued. And we, we saw the results and it was very good results, much better than what we saw amongst other people doing the, the, the standard things most people do, which are deviant and they're uh, not, not correct. But... Um, but then we, being intrigued, sought out material, educated ourselves, 
on these roles and found out that they were legitimate. It's, it's not only within church teaching, it is the church teaching. It's, it's required and promoted by the church teaching from centuries and centuries. And only in recent, only recently have uh, people started to live these backwards roles where the wife leads, the, 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 the wife runs the house. Um, and then the friends we put ourselves around also doing the same things that, uh, that we started doing, and that helps to support us. So these are things you could do uh, to find uh, those that are around you to do and find some mentors, look into the material. 